Hey, you know what time it is? It's time to make another video. All right, all right. So it's been a while since I've made a video, but we are still working on a bunch of these projects that we have been working uh, in the past few months, right? So one of the biggest uh, things that we've done is uh, gotten a bunch of these cells. These are the large format lithium iron phosphate cells. Uh, and they come in 280 amp hours. They come in 300, 304, 314, all the way up to 320. And some of these are testing at 330 amp hours, right? But they're all the same size, physical size. And so what happens is that we've, we've done is we've made a bunch of these bus bars, uh, PCB boards, right? Just to help people make a battery pack out of them. You know, they come with the, with, with the aluminum bus bars, uh, in 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 the package but sometimes there's still a lot of people are being confused or they're afraid to diy a battery using those cells just because they don't understand how to connect it right so what we're doing is we're making these boards that have all these markings in here and it can just kind of walk you right through how to make a battery pack right using those parts that you you can buy and these are very very uh economical this is the cheapest way to make a, a battery by the way right so and it's using high grade you know like we are selling the eve cells that are like eight grade uh high quality cells that are on you know the 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 best products out there that have lithium iron phosphate obviously our lithium iron phosphate is the best chemistry out there to have long storage you know energy storage applications because they last forever they're the safest chemistry they don't they're not as reactive so you'd really have to <laughs> you really have to try hard to get these to catch fire or to arc or do all kinds of stuff right so these are really good batteries to have and we are selling uh quite a bit of few of them and so that's what we're doing so one of the ones uh the these bus bars that was missing up until now was the 48 volt so the biggest one the 16 cell right 48 right and so be, the reason for that is that we were working we were making the smaller ones and then we were working out on all the kinks all the size stuff right and so here's a, a board we'll put it right on the side here so you can let you know right so we made several iterations even though we waited till the very end so that we could have all the the right dimensions and stuff we still uh, managed to make a few mistakes here and we just have to correct them. This is a version one board and it sort of works, but it's really hard to put the, the cells there. Like the, the differences in the cells, the posts in the cells, you know, they were, they're such that these sometimes, will, they will work with a set of cells, but then it won't with like a, another, you know, random pick set of cells. And so we had to increase the, the size of these holes in here and the, the the distance between them and we just had to nail it down so that it would work with the most amount of cells and this board right here now is the second generation board and i we think these will work with most of the cells out there right the problem is that these cells have a variance in the distance between the posts and like you know because they just don't use a, a really uh high degree of <laughs> of uh precision when they put these uh they glue or they uh weld these these uh studs onto these cells right and of course that's just a thing that we can't control because this is, happens in china unless we run like a custom set of batteries of cells right and if you know the problem with doing that is that then if you have to do that and to control the thing then you're it's going to cost you more and we're trying to get these kids you know for the, the the least amount of money, right? Trying to save as much and using what's already existing. Uh, and so doing that, making a custom set of cells that can hold high tolerances in the distance between the studs. Well, that's the more expensive way to do this. So, so we were trying to find a, a, a different way of doing it. And I think we're there now. So of course, in order for to put this pack, for example, this right here, the, uh, depending on the cells that you're using, it could be like 14 and a half kilowatt hours or it could be up to like 16 and a half, so 17 kilowatt hours if you use the, the larger cells, right? The, the ones that have the more capacity. Um, and so this pack right here is what would, this could potentially power your entire home. And so 
a lot of you want to build this because this has the ability to run, you know, an, a big inverter, four kilowatt inverter, five kilowatt inverter, which will run your AC, will run your thing. If you have like an electric car, you'd probably need a few of these, maybe three or four of these ones, right? And so there's an industry of, of these boxes that you can that you can make. So for example, if you were to buy this like plug and play, this would run you um i don't know like three thousand dollars something like this three four thousand dollars for this thing right if there is an industry where you can buy a diy box and we have an example of that box right here this is a six seven hundred dollar box and then you get like four fifteen hundred dollars worth of sales right so so you're looking at about two thousand dollars and then you have your own box that you put together and it comes with instructions and the whole thing right so if you wanted to do like a bare bones system right because not everybody needs the fancy box sometimes maybe you're gonna put it in your garage and you're gonna protect them or whatever like so you know it's like you could run a bare bolt systems like this and it'll be like fifteen hundred dollars for the cells plus a hundred dollars for the board that's sixteen hundred plus i think like another hundred for the bms so yeah so less than two thousand dollars something like eighteen hundred dollars or something like that and you could have this right here right so so it is um it would save you a lot of money to go this way. And that's why we're doing this, right? So here, what I uh, what just did was put this for the first time. And now that we're looking at these uh, compression plates, right? Because we have these kits, uh, compression plates. Um, realizing that there's some work to be done in these compression plates. So this is a uh, thing that every one of these batteries has, which is just a circuit breaker. You typically run this on the positive side. And then on the negative side is gonna be the BMS, which is a switch, right? So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move this BMS a little bit up, higher up, so that then we have the ability to put the comms port on the bottom here. And then maybe figure out how to mount a screen too, like a mount so that you can, so you basically have this battery box. It's kind of naked, right? But you have this 16 kilowatt thing that you can put in your garage maybe you know in a rack or something and if you're going to run a bunch of these right like and if you need to save money then you can run these naked kits you know these systems battery systems right you don't have to have like the whole thing uh covered up right uh and it's easy to like to manage them to come and check like individual cell voltages even though you can do that with the bms but you could you know, uh, reference and, you know, check to see that the, the BMS is working and it's giving you the right. So you have access to the terminals and stuff. So there are some applications which you would want to run a bunch of these systems, like these bare bone systems, and it would save you a ton of money. And so that's what we're doing here. We're making these available as kits. You can buy the, choose the board, or you can buy the compression plates if you want, don't want to use the board and just use the other stuff and run, you know, this one, what really does is like it, 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 manages all these cables these start getting like really gnarly if you have to run them to every cell and stuff and you know you're crimping a bunch of little things it takes a long time to get it and like if you don't very easily it gets really messy and stuff and then to troubleshoot it becomes hard and stuff so that's what these do right not only does it help you you know visually check how that you're you know how to install the cells but it also manages all those wires because these wires get you know, there's a lot of them, 17, 18, almost 20 wires, I think. That's what's in there. And uh, it, it prevents you from having to, you know, have to run all these runs to the, all the cells. You, you basically just connect them to these little connectors here, right? And so we're going to do that. We have all these already in, uh, uh, on our website, right? And, of course, this, uh, like all these projects that I do, this is an open source project. And I want to thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video. They always do, they always sponsor these videos where we do these and we offer them as open source. What that means is that you can go to PCBWay.com. I'll have a link uh, on the description of this video. And you can go and download the Gerber file, which is the file that it takes that you, that is required for you to print this board from any uh a print house every shop every pcb shop on in china right so you can download that file then you can go and print it on your own you could also go to 
pcbway.com and then just order it from there. Now there is a, a minimum of five of these boards uh, parts, right? And so if you're using a single one or you just wanna build one of these, it's probably better for you to go to our website and just, just buy it there, right? But if you want to pay the least amount and get these the cheapest way that you can, then you go to pcbway.com and order it there or download the file and order it in another uh, PCB uh, shop online, right? And so PCB Way lets us uh, upload these and put them and make them available to uh, the community, right? So of builders, of makers and stuff. And so that's why this video is sponsored by that and uh, allows us to do that, right? So this is the 48 volt uh, PCB bus bar kit and also the uh, the two cell, we call this a two cell because it doesn't have to be the 48 volt. You could also run a 12 volt stuff, but this is a two cell compression plate. And I am gonna adjust it, the ones that we have right now. And I think there's only like 10 pairs or something. So so maybe by the time you're watching this already, the version two of this will already be there where like maybe we'll move this stuff around so that you have a place to mount all these other accessories here, like a, like a circuit breaker and the comms port and then the uh, the little screen. This is the little screen that goes on that, right? So maybe we'll make like a thing in there, like an extra little part, and then like holes in there so that you can put the standoffs and stuff. And you can, we basically wanna make it so that this is like a complete like setup that you can run and then you could just, you know, connect your inverter in there. And obviously the aim is also to make our own box. And so these are the insides of, of already of the box that it's in the works, right? And so now, that we once we finish this, uh, then the next step is to to start designing the the outside box and how to mount it in there. And it, it, the the aim is to be more affordable than than these, right? These are DIY. They come from China, but they're about six seven hundred dollars for these boxes. Uh, we want to be able to like sell these for like around four hundred dollars, and I think we could do it for for around four hundred dollars and still manage to make a little bit of money and then give you something that is maybe maybe not as robust as this, but maybe your application doesn't require it. You're gonna put these in a thing and then leave them there. I mean, these are, you know, storage applications, right? So they they're really don't have to be stuff as you would need to because they're not gonna be moving around, right? Uh, maybe you do, maybe you wanna put this in, a, in an RV or something. So maybe you do want the, all the extra, you know, girth and stuff and all the extra safety features that come in having a box that's much more sturdy and stuff right but for the most part i think uh for us that uh, for people that are going to be putting these in a long-term storage application where they're going to sit in a shelf in a garage or, or some place where it's like then you, you don't need all the stuff right so uh jack35.com will uh list the the PCB way link so that you can go and buy them if you want to use these uh, and buy them at the cheapest way possible. So you eliminate me as the middleman. And uh, along with all that stuff, I have the links to where you can buy all the connectors, all the washers, all the thing, all the stuff that you need to get this done, right? So there we go. Thank you, PCB way for sponsoring this video. And thank you for watching this video and uh, we're building batteries the DIY way. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.